given a question calculate the pH of a buffer solution containing 0 0.20 molar ethanoic acid and 0 0.30 molar sodium ethanoate of so we've been given the Ka of sodium I mean ethanoic acid as 1.8 times 10 to negative 5 now when we are working with buffers I think we should be able to understand the Henderson Hasselbosch equation now, if you've been given an acid, now an acid is a compound that contains an hydrogen ion. So, this is a general form of a monoprotic acid. That means it has only one proton. A general form of a diprotic acid is H2A. And then a general form of a triprotic acid is H3A. Where the A can represent an element. For example, you can use chlorine there, then it is hydrochloric acid or fluorine or bromide, so it can represent an element. Or even a compound. Okay, so this is just a general form, this is an acid. When this acid disassociates, if you put it in water and it disassociates, what is it going to form? Hydrogen ion and A minus. So this remember is in aquas, even this one is what? Aquas and also this aquas. Now, because this is an acid which is disassociating, it has got an acid disassociation constant called Ka. So the Ka for this acid is actually going to be equal to the concentration on the product, that is concentration of H raised to the power 1. And then the concentration of o, A minus raised to the power 1 divided by the concentration of what? HA. Well, two compounds which differ by each other by one proton, they are called conjugate acid base pair. So this one and this one, they differ from each other by one proton. So they are a conjugate acid base pair. So if this is an acid, then this is supposed to be a base because they are differing by each other by one proton or hydrogen ion. Now from here we can as well introduce negative log. The reason of introducing negative log is whenever you take a negative log of something it becomes P of that thing. For example negative log of hydrogen becomes pH. Negative log of hydroxide becomes POH. Negative log of Ka becomes PKA. So what I'm, that is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to take negative log of the Ka which we have here and this should be equal to also the other side I'm going to take negative log of the compound which we have now here let me write hydrogen first alone and then I write A minus like that let me make the over just to be between these two like that HA it's really the same thing as what I've written on this stage now we know from the rule of logs, if you have got two logs, if you have got a log and then these two are multiplying, you can split them and they'll be what? Adding, right? So this is actually, now negative log of Ka, this is what we refer to as PKA. So this is going to be PKA because we've taken the negative log of Ka. And this is going to be equal to negative, let me just remove the negative like that. Now we have got log where this and this they are multiplying so I can simply split those I'm going to say log the concentration of hydrogen ion plus log the concentration of A minus divided by HA Is this okay? Okay Now from here I'm going to multiply the negative with everything now which is inside so that will be PKA is equal to negative log the concentration of hydrogen ions minus log concentration of A minus over HA. Well, what is the negative log of H? The negative log of the concentration of hydrogen that is called the pH because we are taking the negative log of H. So this will become PKA is equal to pH minus log. Now I'll put the general form. We said A minus is representing what? A base. 
so that becomes concentration of base and then HA is representing what? An acid. So that will become acid there. At this point now I'm going to get this term and take it the other side of the equation to become positive. And so that will leave us with uh, PH on one side. Let me write it well. PH on one side that will be equal to here we have got what? PKA and then plus if this one goes the other side becomes what positive isn't it so that will be log the concentration of base over the concentration of the acid so this equation which we've just made is called the Henderson Hasselbosch equation now this is when we are calculating the pH of a solution and we've been given the pKa now what of if you've been given an acid I mean just a base so the Henderson Hasselbosch equation when you've been given a base takes another form and we can get that. So say we can use ammonia. We have got ammonia here. When ammonia reacts with okay, let me just say can we say it reacts with HCl? This is a base, this is an acid. So when these two react, what are they going to form? What do you think they are going to form? They are going to form NH4+. plus. So this hydrogen is going to be donated to there. Remember an acid according to Bronsted Lowry is a proton donor. So this is going to be donating a proton and the base is a proton acceptor. And so what is going to remain here is what? Chlorine minus. This is in aquas. This is in aquas. Okay. And also this in aquas. This is also in aquas. Now I'm going to write this basically in a way that well this chlorine will not will not even form a compound as I've done it like that. These two will not exist alone like this, the way you can see it. They are also going to react and that will form NH4 and then Cl. The Cl will not be alone. It will become a compound like that. So it doesn't come to be alone. Yeah. So what you have here is you have got the, uh, this is the base. Okay. This is the base. This compound here is what? Acid. This one which is formed is the salt. Like that. Now, from here I'm going to simplify this expression. And I'm just going to say NH3 react instead of me saying hydrochloric acid. Let me just say hydrogen ion. This is going to form what? N H4 plus. So if we react this compound with just anything, if we react this with just anything, what are we going to form? Uh, for example, if we react with anything like a group 7 and halogen, we're going to form a salt. For example, if we react with chlorine, that would be ammonium chloride, can be ammonium bromide, so like that. This is a salt. And we have got a base here. So because this is a base which is disassociating, this is this is the calculation at equilibrium we are going to call it Kb. In other words, the equilibrium constant is going to be called the Kb because this is the base disassociation constant. That's why we call it Kb because we're talking about the base. If it is the acid, it's Ka, acid disassociation constant. Now, when you want to calculate the Kb, how do you even determine the Kb here? Kb is going to be equal to concentration of NH3. Mm -hmm. Okay, not, not first NH3 but NH4 plus on the products and then divided by concentration of NH3, okay, and then multiply by what? Concentration of hydrogen 
ions, right? And it is not m better for me to use hydrogen ions here. So let me use water. What happens if water reacts with this? What are we going to have here? Hydroxide. Huh? So also going to have hydroxide here being formed. This one is going to donate one elect proton to this one. It remains as an hydroxide. So the OH is going to remain. And then you are going to have water, H2O, like that. It's not just better for me to use hydrogen because that will mean hydrogen will be introducing something like an acidic medium. The presence of hydrogen ion introduces an acidic medium. That's why I don't want to use it. Okay, so that is what we have. Now, again, this water here will not be included in the expression. Why? Because water is in liquid form. So that is why I don't want to include the water. It will actually not be included. It is in liquid form. But here I'm using water at this point. But I'm not going to include it because you see, in liquid form. But on the product you have got hydroxide. So we're going to have OH there. So just the way it is, you can see they are more split at this point. I'm going to put the hydroxide just alone like that. Now at this point, I'm going to introduce negative log on both sides. So this will be negative log. can use another color here. Negative log of the KB. This is going to be equal to negative log. What do we have on the other side? We have got concentration of NH4 plus divided by or we have also concentration of hydroxide divided by concentration of ammonia okay like that now again I'm going to split this let me put the negative outside so I just put brackets here the negative will be outside now what is negative log of KB P KB and that is going to be got to negative I'll take the log now these two have split them so according to the rule of logs we can add them right so this will be log concentration of now I'm going to put a generic form the general form for ammonium ion here we are saying this is a what a sort okay divided by ammonia we are saying it's a what a base and then plus log concentration of what hydroxide okay so that is what we are going to form now this is equal to pkb is equal to i'm going to distribute this negative that will be negative log of the sort divided by what concentration of the base and then minus again isn't it because the law the negative splits to both of them now this will be negative because what will be negative okay let me first write that negative log of concentration of hydroxide right now from here what is negative log the concentration of hydroxide so this is pkb is equal to negative log of the salt divided by the base plus log the concentration of hydroxide that is going to be called p o h okay and then to remain with the POH, I'm going to take this thing the other side. So that will be POH is equal to PKB plus log concentration of the salt divided by concentration of the base. So this is the other form of the Anderson Hasselbosch equation when you want to when you've been given the PKB you first calculate the POH 
and then on top you use salt the base comes down for here the base is on top the acid is down when you're using pka okay but one thing that you need to know is if you've calculated one poh plus ph this is supposed to add up to 14 that is it now having understood the henderson hasselbosch equation let's go on and answer this one Using the Henderson Hassel but now for this question we begin the, we've been given the pKa so you can calculate the pH direct isn't it so the pH is equal to negative low okay before that the pH is equal to pKa plus log the concentration of what base divided by the concentration of what acid how do you find pKa? It is negative log Ka. And the Ka in this case is what? Okay, 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5. And then plus log. What is the base? The base is the one which has got one proton less. Instead, you put a sodium there. Okay, so this is the base. And the concentration is 0.30 divided by the acid the concentration is 0.20 okay like that so let's work it out first we have got negative log of 1.8 times 10 times 10 to power what? Negative, five. negative 5 that is giving 4.744 4. and then plus we have got 0 0.3 over 0 0.2, 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.2. That is about 1.5 and log of that value, log of 1.5, that is 0 0.17609. So all we do is add the two, 4.744 plus the answer that we have. That is going to give us 4.92. So this is going to be the pH of the solution. So it is not the only way that you can use. Perhaps you've forgotten the henderson hasselbosch equation. And this equation only works on buffers, it's not on everything. So you can as well say this, look at the compound you have. You've been given what? Ethanoic acid, right? So that is CH3COOH. If this disassociates, what is it going to form? It is CH3COOH plus, uh, sorry, the H will not be there. It will just be COO minus plus hydrogen ion. But this sodium ethanoid is giving us ethanoid ion. The sodium ethanoid, because the sodium doesn't take part in the reaction of these bases, it's only this ion which will be given. The sodium ion will be out. So that means initially, at the beginning, initial, we have got the concentration of the acid. And the concentration of the acid is what? That is 0 0.20. And the concentration of this in the acid itself is 0. But because we have that compound there, the concentration is going to come initially as 0 0.20. But we don't have any hydrogen ions because none of this compound is going to give us hydrogen ions. If this one gives us hydrogen ions, the concentration is zero for the hydrogen ions as much as the concentration of this one is zero from this compound. But from here, that is where we're getting this value. Is it okay? So here, the initial is zero. Now, what would be the change? After a certain change, because we want the reaction to reach equilibrium for us to be able to calculate the Ka, so if this is changing by negative x this will change by what positive. positive x and this one by positive x okay now at equilibrium at equilibrium the concentration of this is going to become what 0 0.20 minus x now looking at the k it is so small so this will be approximately equal to what 0 0.20 itself and then this one if at equilibrium it will be 0 0.30 plus x same since x is very small this will be just as approximately equal to 0 0.3 okay 
but this one it will just be x because it's 0 plus x is it okay now when we are calculating ka we do it at equilibrium this is the acid disassociation constant and so ka is going to be equal to the concentration of ch3 coo minus multiplied by the concentration of I hydrogen ions divided by the concentration of ch3 cooh now the ka is equal to what the ka is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 this is going to be equal to what is the concentration of this ion at equilibrium 0 0.3 what is the concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium x what is the concentration of this compound at equilibrium 0 0.2 and so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to multiply everything by 0 0.2 over 0 0.3 so that this and this cancels and this and this cancels for me to remain with x so i'm going to say x is equal to or we'll multiply this by this value so that is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.3 so the value we find here is 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 5 so this is the concentration of what hydrogen ions at equilibrium why because we are seeing at equilibrium the concentration of hydrogen ions is x and x this is the value that you found so to calculate the ph ph is simply equal to negative log the concentration of hydrogen ions and this is going to be negative log what is the concentration of hydrogen ions okay 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 5 now let's punch that on the calculator negative log the value that is going to give us 4.92 basically what we found when we use the Henderson-Hasselbosch equation so that is it that is how you go about it